Bill, I have taken over the Persona temporarily. Well, oh, I'm on the side over here. to Bill, dude. So we are going to be starting off on Smashville. On Smashville, okay. As Smart. nobody is surprised. So we're going to see a very different... Okay, never mind. We're going to see the Lucina coming out of uh, yep. Mystery here. We've seen this a lot over recent history. He's been using this a lot more. Definitely, man. But Kuma does not care either Marth or Lucina, man. Putting the quick 61 on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kuma with a very like relatively decent lead here. Kuma does play this matchup a lot <laughs> against Pug West. <laughs> I love that. The teeter animation, dude. He does it all the time. <laughs> Just hanging off the Get, side. Gets me, dude. It's so wacky. All right. So, Kuma, I love the way he sort of like crosses up Mr. E and then spin dashes the other way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kuma now with the... Uh, as we are used to... As soon as he gets these leads, just kind of back, backs off and plays yeah. passive. And, you know, like we've said before, he plays this against Pug all the time, so it's very not uncommon for him whatsoever. It's really working, man. 128 with only 40 of his own. Yeah, very aggressive Kuma right now. He's been going into advantage a lot and forcing the initiative. True. And now Mr. E forcing him back off stage, trying to trap him at the ledge, but Kuma just being really patient, getting that fair out of shield. to re just swap places now. Yep. Oh, all right. We got the jump from the ledge special, but Kuma not able to throw anything out. Oh, my Oh, goodness. my God. That falling <laughs> up air, air dodge read to F smash, that is, that's Kraftus esque right there. That's not something you normally see Kuma go for. And he just, all I'm saying is Kraftus isn't in the bracket anymore. Yeah, exactly. That's Kuma. Yeah, Kuma dude. is the Kraftus new. Kraftus is taking notes. <laughs> Kuma, Kuma being the best uh, Sonic in New England right now. And now. As we said before, he's just going to be playing faster. Now, actually, deciding to go in a little bit here. Try, trying to get a little percentage down to solidify this lead. All right, some nice, nice fair. I like that a lot. But, oh, my God, the shield breaker. Yeah, trying to throw out the shield breaker in center stage here to force it. Oh, uh, it looks like he got stuck in that. Nice defense on Kuma there, fast falling out of that situation there. But he gets oh called out on the air dodge on the stage, and once again, Mr. E's lead trapping abilities Honestly, is so solid. But that was so smart. All right, because the re-grab, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone's thinking, oh, he's going to F-smash. Mm -hmm. So Mr. E with the next level up smash charge instead. Yeah, Super knowing that he, that he was not going to go for ledge there, making sure he gets the guaranteed follow-up with yep. that up smash, calling him out in. Now, once again, Kuma, okay, never mind. He takes it back here in this game pretty even. I forget how much damage Lucina does raw on her aerial sometimes. It's crazy, man. What looked like such a dominating game from Kuma, too. Yeah, man, this bracket is one of those things where you just assume that you have a nice, comfortable lead, and then the next, the other player just turns it up. Exactly. Everybody's got an X-Factor going from right now. Oh, that's a dangerous spot for Kuma, though. Mm -hmm. I like the idea. He was looked like he was trying to go for like a pivot grab to seal that stock out, but yep. Mr. E recognizing that immediately. Oh my goodness, crazy fair too. We talked so much about Mr. E and how good he is at the ledge. So this is a rough spot to be in for Kuma. Yeah, Kuma managing to make it back down to the platform. Smashville coming through to reverse the situation for him and give him a little bit of extra life. And now All playing right. the passive play style to hiding over on the side of the ledge. <laughs> Just goes for the pummel. I like it. Mr. E also playing very immaculate in his defense right now. Not trying to let him get in. Just barely avoiding that up air uh, which should have sealed his stock out. Mm -hmm. Oh, gets it. Crazy stuff, man. Gets in, gets that back air. Kuma's going to go up game one over Mr. E. What do you think Mr. E needs to do to be able to readjust to that? Because I was looking, even after Mr. E started making a lot of adjustments there, it still looked like Kuma was never actually worried. True. I mean, I don't know. I just, I think E played a lot better than second stock. But I don't really know if it was anything he did different or if it was just how Kuma was playing, honestly. Yeah, you know what? If, if he can manage to continue to trap him on the ledge like he was doing throughout that set and... Really force the initiative when he tries to be, when he goes for those aggressive options yes. and gets a positive trades. I think he could manage to take this out, but he's Kuma looking very solid so far on this. A little, little bit of deficit right now, but as a real, like I said, he's been keeping his composure very well. Mr. E trying to solidify some dominance here in center stage. Wow, nice. I love that up here in the jab. But Kuma still at a deficit. 
And that's Puma right. trying to fade back, trying to get his range back in, managing to get the grab, but then it gets too much health. <laughs> Love that. All right, so that Tekken play is going to get punished with the full on Dancing Blade. Yeah, nice call out by Mr. E, recognizing the Tekken place there, get, forcing the initiative to push him back off stage, but now once again reversed himself, almost getting clipped by that F smash, which mm. probably would have sealed his sock out since he did blow his jump there. All right, nice patience from Kraftus, but they're from Kraft from Puma. <laughs> And once again, Mr. E just showing how strong he is at the ledge. Mr. Puma has not been able to get back on. He's thinking about an extra 70% here. Oh, my God. Oh, unfortunate, so... but very good trap on his part. Yeah, I like it. It looked I like he was trying point. to prepare for the tech. Blew it a little bit too early, so he managed to get through it. But free fell in exchange. And now Mr. E can sit comfortable because Kuma has to come to him now. All right, gets that back here. And honestly, it's still looking all right for Kuma. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, all right. Jeez. Nice call out with these side B's. Puma trying to get back in to seal off the stock. Yep. Gets the nair, but does not kill him off the top. So close, though, man. You gotta watch out. But right now, he's just going for a few too many wild options. I like the patience there. Not trying to be a little too overcommittal, especially on uh, the last stock of his life right now. Nice call out on that neutral getup with that back air, forcing him once again into the situation oh. where he's been winning at the ledge. His spacing is immaculate, not wanted, getting grabbed. I was going to say, he wanted that back air. The back throw so bad, <coughs> but Mr. E was not giving it to him. Mr. E forcing him once again at the ledge. Unfortunately, Kuma went a little bit too far to the side, but Kuma's able to reverse the situation here. Kuma's sitting at 101%. He really needs to tie this down and really... Like he, he has to get rid of his stock as soon as possible. I don't know, man. At this point, I think I'm looking for game three. But we've seen it before. There's some wacky shenanigans involved with mm -hmm. a Rage Sonic. Kuma, no stranger to him, of course. And as we saw the way Kuma was playing off stage before against uh, uh, Scott, he is capable of taking out some stocks at like 20%. So, yep. well, Mar <laughs> Mr. E just refusing to let him get back in. He's been doing such a great job on the side here. All right, can he get off of the ledge though? It's been the name of the entire set so far. And Mr. E just backing off, giving up stage control a bit there. Oh, no. oh my uh, God, and recognizing he's gonna go for that spring ride. Yep. Air dodging out of that situation to get out of there. Now Kuma looking like he's kind of hunting for a little bit to seal, yeah. the, to get this done early. But now, you know, E, who is very comfortable, has to have that in the back of his mind. And at 72%, this is actually looking really close. Kuma can get a nice solid hit, an F smash read off of a get up. Yeah, Kuma slowly bringing this back. He is at, um, I'm sorry, not spring ride, but he was trying yeah. to go for the up air off the top. My apologies. Yep. It's a it's a habit. Like <laughs> I'm so used to hearing it called that. Oh, I still call it. Right. But Mr. E is gonna get that back here. Stop yep. blowing me up, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> but Mr. E is gonna even this up. Get one game apiece. Very very solid adjustment going on there. And as we saw, be as we were talking about before. His ability to trap at the ledge is so strong. Just exactly. refusing to let Kuma really play at all whenever he was on the side of the stage. That's what it came down to, man. If he just can if, if he can keep him there the whole set, Kuma just looks lost. Yeah, we're gonna be running it right back on I'm oh, sorry, we're gonna be running it to Town and City, which is very solid for both of these characters here, getting some really early kills off the top. I like the way Mr. E was approaching it, but let's see if Ms. Kuma can maybe go a little bit more aggressive and try and uh, force the initiative so he can get an early stock to be able to camp out afterwards. True, I just, uh, whatever he was doing was working. Kuma kept that way closer than anyone would have thought it would have been. Mm -hmm. Agreed, yeah, the, after the way that Mr. E was looking, it did not look like Kuma was gonna come back whatsoever, but Kuma yeah. keeping his composure. Now we're in the FC situation here, which is much more beneficial to Kuma, but that's kind of neat. <laughs> oh Kuma's usage of these falling up airs has been very good. Yep. I mean, trying to get some combo extensions, but Mr. E recognizing it and forcing him back off stage with the side B. Almost calling him out with that back air, but he gets the trump in the back air. It's not going to take it just yet. Very close, but next one will probably do it. Gonna throw him back off stage. And oh my Ooh. god! <laughs> oh my goodness! Getting at Air Dodge Reed with that down smash, and Kuma all of a sudden behind. Hey. <laughs> what was that? Was wild, dude. The that, knowledge that, that goes into the down smash read. That was some very next level uh, mix ups that he had going from there and beautiful coverage. And now Mr. Reed is sitting pretty with this stock lead here, forcing Kuma to have to come into his range once again. Yeah, Kuma just kind of uh, spin dashing a lot. And normally it hits E, but I think he's been doing better and better at getting out of it. 
But once again, we see the situation here. I know it sounds like a broken record at this point, but Mr. E just refusing to let him get back in, using that F tilt to get him off of him. Very smart on Kuma. Now forcing the situation where he has to recover. Oh, all right, I like the idea, but timing is a little bit off. And Kuma's been trying to get these situations where he can kill off uh, the side here, but it's just, E's defense has just been great. Unfortunately, not getting the kill off the top there with that up air either. Not quite. Kuma behind 69% here to 142. Kuma trying to seal something out here so he can get the stock and even this game back up. But Mr. E just fading back. Nice. Just immediately running in with that side B, recognizing when he was going to play a little bit defensive there. And he is all over him with the options, man. They're almost taking the stock, but not quite. Okay, he forced that to the ledge. Let's see what Kuma does about his get up here. Calling out that jump on the stage with that F tilt, finally getting him at the ledge, which he hasn't really been able to do consistently throughout the set. Right, a big opportunity here for Kuma, man. He almost brought it back last time, and this one's even closer than that. Mm -hmm. yeah, as we saw in the last game, very similar situation. Kuma brought it back after being down with such a large deficit. And right. He's doing it once again, getting some great combo extensions here, forcing the initiative on Mr. E. Yep. Mr. E trying to find his opening to regain the stage positioning he had. Gets the tech in place with the side B. Not going to kill just yet. Uh, yeah, puts him in a rough spot, though. He has been so good in this situation. Let's see what he does. Gets Goes hit. for the, back, the side B into the back air, trying to come all, call him out on that jump. Mr. E falling him out on his jump, trying to trap him once again at the ledge. Oh, wow, nice feedback back there. He can't play at the ledge. He really can't. Like, anytime he thinks that he has the opportunity to press the button at the ledge, Mr. E has an answer for him. Exactly, man. Kuma looking much more solid. And once again, I'm invisible. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, uh, shout out to Bill, dude. Invisible. Shout out to Invisible. I'm going to move some stuff after this match so y'all can see my pretty face again temporarily. For those of y'all who think I have a pretty face, give me a follow on Twitter. Slide in the DMs. Nice. So <laughs> Solid plug. <laughs> so we're going into game four here, back onto Town and City once again. Both of these players have been doing a great job on this stage. And just, I think we're probably just going to see the ride out of it. Very much comfort for both players. Yep, and like I said, man, Kuma's been bringing it closer and closer, considering how rough games two and three look. So here on game four, we might even be. Oh, Ooh, my we God. get the jab up block into a combo extension. That might be it. There it and is. Kuma get, is solidifying himself in this game four here. I, oh, my, my God. goodness. Right when I saw that jab, dude. It's like, oh, my God, this is curtains. And now Kuma with a very large yep. lead here 26% over. Uh, Mr. E not letting him do oh anything. God. Kuma looking like he's trying to end this match in a much quicker fashion than I've pretty much ever seen him do. 26% to 104. Mr. E trying to find something and get something started. But Kuma Ooh. calling him out with the F smash. And Mr. E trying to get back to stage. This is a different kind of Kuma we're seeing right here. What is going on, man? I cannot oh. believe my eyes. Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Like, this is completely different, and Kuma's just looking so solid. Gets him with the F smash, and forget that. That match lasted a minute and 10 seconds by comparison to all of other, the other matches. Holy crap. Kuma's oh. speed running the bracket now, man. Yo, <laughs> someone got to tell him to calm down. Kuma remembered his ability to go fast with Sonic, and we are at game five. Just can we... <laughs> Can we stream that? Uh, can, is yep. that allowed? Is, it, is that allowed to is stream? That, I'm pretty sure that's... I think there's a thing on Twitch about that. I'm pretty sure there's a thing that's against abuse. I'm saying. <laughs> it, it, oh, my God. Uh, most people go to jail for that, you know. I'm just saying. So we're going to go but on. These guys are going to FD. <laughs> yes, they are. We're running it onto FD, not finishing out on Town and City. And nope. Mister, I'm surprised Mr. E decided to go here, especially against Sonic. Like, every time somebody's brought... As we saw with Scott, he brought Kuma here repeatedly, and yeah. Kuma made him pay for it. So let's we'll see what see, Mr. E can do about this. So far, a pretty even game, but Kuma is playing like a man possessed. Mm -hmm. that Kuma is playing like a man on fire right now, refusing exactly. to let him get anything started. And Kuma with, a, once again, another large lead here. That is not the game that you wanted to give Kuma, man. At least could have kept it closed, but Kuma was on fire. Mm -hmm. You said it, man. And now he knows it too, man. He's starting to just, he's just swinging. You know what? This is like some next level, like, mind game adaptation here. Kuma was playing so passive throughout all of these other games, and now all of a sudden playing so aggressive. Yeah. And I don't think Mr. E has had the time to really adjust to it just yet. Good I mean, opportunity, as, though. Gets what? a nice trump. Mr. E starting to finally get some adjustments here. But they're gets them the soft hit there into the backer. Oh, my God. And Kuma putting Mr. E on his tournament life right now in this loser semis. All right, Mr. E fighting back, though. He said it's not over yet. 
And Mr. E still very much in this. He's one raw F smash away from even this game back up, but Kuma not letting him have it. Nice grab right there. Making it back though and putting the shield up just in time. You know what? Kuma has done a great job. Oh, oh he calls out the roll on stage. As I was just about to say, Kuma has such a, done a, such a great job of uh, avoiding getting ledge trapped so far throughout this. And Mr. E immediately making me shut up. Getting that roll. But All right, but 69% so far is a pretty big deficit. Yeah, mid Kuma, right. 0 to 77% right Ooh. now. It's fading right. back, <laughs> outspacing him right. All right, Kuma this huge up tilt. Finally using the up to get out of that situation. Gets his feet back on the ground. And E is, e is in control right now. Kuma has not been able to land. Can he make it back, though? Okay, cool. Here's the position where he's been oh winning. God. Oh, he was able to finally get by him there, though. And now Kuma has the reverse situation, forcing him at the ledge. Let's see what Kuma can do about this. Both of them kind of fading back, just resetting yeah. center stage. A super intense match here. No player trying to break right now. The patience is wearing thin on one of them. But here we go, finally getting hit with that side B. Mr. E trying to go for that back air, yep. forcing him off stage. Oh, the counter, but it doesn't connect. Kuma back at it with the spin dash. I don't know about that spring. That's going to be a dancing blade. Not going to kill, though. But Kuma off stage yet again. Going to make it back. A, a crazy option with the fair. And now he's just swinging. Trying to get the stock off E. A little too long of a wait on that spin dash. And the dancing blade not going to take it either. Forcing him back off the side of the stage yep. here. Kuma trying to get back on. He's been losing at the jab. side there, but throws out the jab to back Smart. him off. Crazy hit of the up air. Kuma with another spin dash, but misses. Oh my god, misses a back air. Gets the trade with that down air, trying to force the situation, pushing him back off the bat. The F tilt's gonna reverse it. And the up air not taking it either. Both of these guys are on their last leg. Neither player trying to go down up right throw. now. He's gonna get up thrown, but that's not gonna kill not just yet. yet. And Kuma's still living. Mr. E trying to steal this out for yet another trap at the ledge here. Another Backing spin dash. Off. Nice movement. Mr. E, is taking, he says, all right, I'm, I'll, I'll see you in the center of the stage, man. And both of them, once again, really setting center stage. Yep. Like you said, Mr. E sitting with the percent lead right now, but I don't think we're going to see this go to time. Both no. players trying to find that opening, see who breaks in patience. Oh, trying to throw out that raw off. back air. That almost that could take it. Trapping him at the ledge. Very smart on Mr. E not getting neutral get up, so he would not get back, uh, back thrown at the ledge. All right, what are we going to see here? Just some more spin dash shield cancels. The intensity level of both these players staring into the screen right now. Oh, the fair. And Mr. E finally gets a call it. out with that fair. And he's going to take it game five over Kuma in what was probably the most intense set that we've seen throughout this set, uh, <laughs> this tournament. That was insane. My life? <laughs> dude, that was probably the most intense set of my life, dude. <laughs> that was ridiculous. We saw such a different Kuma in those last couple of games. He, he turned it up so hard on Mr. E. And Mr.